Welcome back everyone, Costine here on Serious Gaming, continuing my walkthrough of the 6 Human Revolution on the Give Me the 6 difficulty. I might have solved some of the... some of the echo problems that I've had. So we shall see about that. Now, FEMA Detention Center, locate the mercenary leader, or well, one of the mercenary leaders. one of them and then fight them and then kill them I kind of wish I didn't have to kill them but I am forced to and that is annoying what's up there okay I'm just gonna wait for him to turn around um, hopefully he will not go around this corner no he will not Come on, bro. Just do it. I realized why I had been having some lag spikes. I was uh, playing the game without triple buffering. I enabled that and now the game runs perfectly fine. And there's a bunch of people... Ooh. Well, that was bound to happen. I wasn't moving from cover to cover, effectively. Maybe I can hit them. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, these guys are fast. I should have done that faster. Uh, killing them. I was... Honestly, I was actually hoping that the concussion grenade would actually take them out. But it didn't. <laughs> this is what I get. Possible visual. Get over there and confirm it. Okay. Well, the other guy took me from the other side. Yeah, nice. Hmm. 
how to tackle this. And there is a patrol over there as well. Did you hear that? Either that's a pebble or someone shooting. There we go. <laughs> Great, the alarm went off. Now, if the alarm had not gone off, I might have been able to just move on and justify doing that in terms of experience. But anyway. come and you will die or go to sleep hello if anyone's hiding here you'd better come out Visual. Yeah, you do. Come on. Come to Papa. Come to Jensen. Hello? If anyone is hiding here, you'd better come. Just move the body right here so he doesn't notice it. There's still a patrol right there. That's not gonna be so. Um. Oh wait. Yeah, the stairs down here can surprise this guy. Have to be careful though, keep in mind patrol. Actually, he will not be able to see me. Or his friend going down. But just to be on the safe side, I'm moving the body behind us. Container. Well, not really container. Those beams right there. Okay, the patrol. Easy. Easy. Oh, what the turn. Ah, shit. He cried out. Alarm is gonna go off. That's the problem. Don't want that. I have a clear passage. Or maybe not so clear as I originally thought. Nice to enter the experience for explorer. 
But, but, let's see here. Attack this one. Now I am going to wait because I fully. Well, I have enough time, that's the thing. Nice. Come on, give me. Gonna have to stop this. Fortify these. Oh, come on. One nuke virus wasted like that. And a quick stop. Alright, let's, uh... Okay, get this one, get this one. I can just reload if necessary. Yeah, I'll, I'll reload, I fucked up. Hmm. <laughs> oh well, isn't that awesome? Hmm. I'll just use a nuke virus then. Let's get that heavier. I'll need it for a boss fight anyway. Well, not really need, but the way I'm gonna defeat him is using the turrets, and I want to move the turrets around a bit while engaging, engaging the boss. Okay, so... Now, if I can get this one, this two... Okay. I'm I've done it. Okay. Access granted. All right, lasers. And the point of, well, besides obviously the experience, but what was the point of all of that? Uh, sniper rifle ammo. Female personnel. I'll deal with them later. I'll talk with them. That is not kill them or, or I guess I could incapacitate them. Let's hack this one. This will give me a bit of experience, which is useful. Access go. A stop worm. Hmm. Rex eighty four operational field nodes. Reference to Operation Guard and Plot. Extend to the operational results from continuity of government Rex 84 Alpha X plan, subsection of Department of Defense, Civil Disturbance Plan 552, Operation Guard and Plot regarding large scale suppression, arrest, detention of detainment of civilians during national crisis situation. Define nat national crisis actually. Define national crisis. Uh, 
Don't need ammo for... Ah, another alarm. Very well. Access grant. The nuke fires. Good, good, good. Pocket secretary. Please be advised that the following names have been added to the ADEX list. In the event of martial law, each one of them is to be arrested and transported to the nearest containment facility. Hmm. Hold on. Okay, who are these people? I don't know. Maybe if I read some of the... Uh, some news, I guess, I would find out who these people actually are. All right, grab this. Might be detected, and I was, but it's no problem. Access grant. Jensen, that frequency we tracked just got a burst of activity. I think these guys might be pulling out. Yeah, I've kind of been getting that feeling. Any idea who's running the show? They're using some kind of code. But from what I can gather, the guy giving the orders is still a level below you. Nice job, Pritchard. I'll find him. Yeah, well, I'll be talking with the female personnel first and foremost. I actually thought the way I had to go was... Oh, actually I do. But, yeah. Man, they left us one hell of a mess. Those vents must be rat infested by now. Hey, who the hell are you? Cool it, guys. Orders are to pull out, but I can't leave without my stuff. Yeah, right. Getting into the barracks requires a security code. Tell me what it is, and maybe I'll let you through. Yeah. What's the passcode, pal? 7984, asshole. Now back off or I tear you two stooges another one. Fine. Just make sure you clean up your mess back there before you leave. Just make sure you clean it up this time. There's a funny smell coming out of the vent back there, and I know for sure it wasn't here the last time you guys left. That is far enough! Get back! Ah! Do I get any experience? Huh? Gotta trigger the alarm! Hmm. Oh, actually, I have an idea. Take this guy, one guy down with the tranquilizer, the other guy down with the quick take. Then. Someone! Ah! Mm. Ah! That's how you do it. Extra experience. Might be a dick move, but extra experience. Useful. Access grant. All right. Hmm. Hopefully I don't get detected if I do. Well. Access there we go. have the security code. Okay. Access 
success grant. Hmm, blurring the boundaries between man and machine. Talk given by Hugh Darrow at the 2001 International Gathering of Neuroscientists Scientific Researchers. Eh. Yeah. Um, the science in this game is not, it's, it, this is not sci-fi, let, just, let me just make a point, the idea of human augmentation, you know, having prosthetic limbs already exists, having prosthetic limbs as accurate as they are in the game, even that is currently being worked on right now, um, the thing that might not actually exist in real life, might, we might not ever get to see is neuropathy. Cuisine. Um, they added that, you know, to have a dark side to this, because there is a message, an underlining message to this entire story, and it's up to you to decide how you're gonna view the situation in the game. Do we progress at all costs? Access grant. Or should there be limits? And who should set those limits? Like, that's the choice you have to make as a player and as an individual person. That's a, uh, that's a conclusion you have to make yourself in the, on an individual level rather than the game telling you. And, and that's a good thing, a really good thing with regards uh, to the Six Human Revolution. I like um, the philosophical aspect of it. A great deal. It's it's really good. The ending cinematics, all of them, regardless of the choice you make. And I don't say this often for an RPG. Uh, all the ending cinematics are great. Like, I can see, I can understand every viewpoint. I can agree with every single viewpoint expressed in those cinematics. I, I mean, sure, I have my preference, um, as anyone does, but... Hold on, I see something. Oh, I see. It was just this tablet right here. I have my uh, preference, of course, but... That doesn't mean I cannot see the viewpoints of others. I think that's great, because it's not black and white here. It really isn't. Some people... Some simple-minded people do like to view even complex issues in black and white. Uh, from a black and white perspective, but it's not a black and white perspective by any stretch of the imagination. It really isn't, and it should not be viewed from such a perspective. Uh, anyway, Costine here on uh, Serious Gaming, signing out, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for more.